Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do when we have two objects that have the same charge on them, either all positive or all negative? Then the field lines look very different because the electric field, of course, will look very different. Well, we need to hold on to symmetry. And we do know that the ones on the very opposite sides of one another, those are just going to emanate straight out. So this field will go straight out in this direction. The field over here will go straight out in this direction. Those are the easy ones. But what do we do with the rest? Well, let's start with the ones that are opposite one another. Obviously, you can that the fields going towards each other because they repel each other. And, well, that means that they'll veer off, but you want to maintain symmetry. So the way to do that is for the one that is directly across, you're going to have a line coming out, which is then going to split like this and like this. This line is going to split like this and like this. And the field lines are going to emanate in this direction this direction, same over here, simply because of the repulsion between the positive charges. So the field will split up like this, and instead of having a single line coming out, well actually you do have a single line coming out, but then it'll split equally in both directions to maintain the symmetry, the rule number four here on the board. Now for the rest, it makes it fairly easy. We we'll simply emanate perpendicular out of the surface and then curl away from it. Here we curl away from this way, and here we have a slight curve going this way, same on this side, slight curve going this way, curves away, and curves away like this. So now you can see that the field lines will all emanate away, but tend to curve away from the other side here because there's, of course, a repulsive force there. And then the same will happen over here. So just emanate like that, come straight up and then curve this way. Straight up and curve this way. Same over here. Curve this way. Coming straight out, curving this way. And coming straight out and curving this way. And then we draw our arrows. And we have a fairly good representation of what the electric field will look like around those two objects that both have positive charge on them. And again, if you want to put a test charge in there, anywhere you like. So if it then plays a test charge over here, Notice that test charge is going to experience a force, and you can see based on the direction of the field lines that the force will be something like this. And what would it look like if you were to put a negative test charge in there somewhere? So for example, I want to put a negative test charge over here. Again, if it was a positive test charge, the force would be in this direction, but you can see that a negative test charge would have a force going in this direction. And let's go ahead and put the force symbol there. There we go. And so that's how we draw the electric field lines when we have positive charge on both objects, showing electric field lines that seem to push away from each other because of repulsive forces. And that's how it's done.